I've forgotten quite a few tubs of yogurt in my fridge before to the point that you know sometimes they grow little friends and uh, some little peas so pee on the surface. Hi, I'm Jessalyn, a chef and a baker. I've been tasked to cook with 10 kilos of a single ingredient. Let's see what's on the clearance shelves that are close to expiring and I'll make something with it. Well, I found a lot, a lot of yogurt. I've just got back from the store and I've acquired about 10 kilos of yogurt and today's challenge is to use up as much of this as possible. So I've come up with 10 different recipes and now I'm going to take you through how it went. So I've been requested to make these 10 dishes as locally inspired as possible. But the challenge is that, you know, in Chinese and uh, maybe even Malay cooking, we don't really use that much yogurt. So it is a bit difficult to incorporate all these 10 kilos of yogurt into the dishes that I'm going to make. And uh, I am a little wary about uh, being able to finish all of this yogurt, but I'm going to try my best. Okay, calm down, calm down. So first, I'm going to start the day with coffee. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to make condensed milk, yogurt and fresh milk together as like the base liquid and then I'm going to add some like a concentrated shot of coffee. It's really smooth, it's really creamy, it's got that body from the yogurt. It's not as good as the one in Vietnam though. <laughs> Kicking off my yogurt feast, I am making butter chicken. Butter chicken um, traditionally already uses yogurt in its marination, so I'm not so worried about that one. To create the butter chicken marinade, I'm chopping up some ginger, garlic, and green chilli and adding it to a spice mix of garam masala, turmeric, ground cumin, and red chilli powder. And of course, a generous heap of yogurt. So uh, currently, I am cutting up my chicken into small pieces and then I'm going to uh, place it into the yogurt marinade. So we're going to let this sit and marinate for about 30 minutes or more and then uh, we'll get back to it later. Oh, so good salt. <laughs> so now I'm going to make the pudding base for our fried yogurt milk. If you've ever gone to like a Cantonese um, restaurant, you might have had the fried milk, you know, those like little sticks of uh, creamy milk custard that they deep fry. Uh, so instead of using all milk, I'm just gonna replace the, some of the milk with yogurt and we'll see what happens. So now I'm just gonna be cooking the pudding over medium heat. So later you will see that mixture will start to thicken. So as you can see, it's a lot thicker than it was in the beginning. So that's the cornstarch really working its magic. I'm going to put it in the fridge to cool down so that it will solidify and I'll be able to cut it into little slices so I can deep fry. I'm going to peel these mangoes and I'm going to make them into a puree for the base of the yogurt mango pudding. Dissolve a packet of gelatin in boiled hot water. Chop up some mangoes and then blend it together with some fresh milk and yogurt. I remember going to eat dim sum on the weekends with my family and then at the end of the meal, even though we were like stuffed to the brim with like siu mai and hakao, we would still always order mango pudding. And while those are setting in the fridge, I move on to making dough for my yogurt mantou and my yogurt naan. One quarter of the... Seven... Ish. Then um, we're going to use some all-purpose flour. To accompany my butter chicken, I'm making naan, a soft, pillowy, Indian-style flatbread traditionally made in a tandoor. The added yogurt will give it a thicker, fluffier texture. Next, I'm making the mantou dough and putting my kneading and rolling skills to the test. Shape them into balls and let them cook and rest. Now I'm gonna bake the chicken for the butter chicken. I think it's been marinating for almost an hour. The yogurt, it tenderizes the chicken. Bake the butter chicken in a 180 degrees Celsius preheated oven for 16 to 18 minutes.
the butter chicken is gonna be spicy. So to extinguish some of the heat, I'm making some cucumber raita. Raita is a condiment traditionally made of yogurt plus some combination of vegetables and spices. A classic accompaniment to spicy dishes in Indian cuisine. Next up, I'm making a Hong Kong Cha Chan Ting classic, baked rice. So for the baked rice, we're going to make a bechamel sauce, which is basically like a cream sauce. Usually they use milk for the base, but I'm going to be using yogurt to replace some of the milk. I'm going to be swapping out tomato sauce for laksa sauce to give this dish a Singaporean twist and to also complement the seafood in this dish. Since I have to cook 10 dishes today, I've decided to cheat and just use a pre-made laksa paste, so please do not judge me. So to make my life easier, I'm just going to coat the rice in the raw egg first. For me, it just makes sure that the egg is kind of even spread out through the rice. Fry up some seafood. Here, I'm using crab sticks and some prawns. Then, add some fish sauce and sesame oil to taste. One final touch before it goes into the oven, some shredded mozzarella cheese. I'm going to put it in the oven for about 15 minutes. Now, I'm making a pandan yogurt pound cake. The yogurt in this recipe adds moisture and tenderness, and its inherent sour taste will also nicely mellow out the sweetness of the cake. In an oven preheated to 180 degrees Celsius, bake for 45 to 55 minutes. Finally, for my last dish, I'm making mango lassi, a popular Indian yogurt smoothie. <laughs> you wasted your pizza. No. Wash it. <laughs> yeah, just just put it all in. Add a little bit of milk to thin it out. Yeah. Now that the bulk of my cooking is done, time to plate up my 10 course yogurt fiesta. And invite some colleagues over to help me finish it all up. Welcome to the yogurt menza. <laughs> yogurt <Wow>. party. <laughs> 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 so, so starting from here, we have our giant bowl of raita, which is my cheat way to use up as much yogurt as possible. <laughs> then uh, we have uh, our naan with yogurt. Uh, this is our um, Pandan pound cake and uh, yogurt whipped cream. <laughs> we have um, mango pudding with yogurt, and then we have butter chicken, laksa baked rice, mango lassi, and this is a uh, fried milk yogurt pudding. Yes. So I just I just tried the fried yogurt. It's very interesting. It is very 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 good. And after that entire feast, I still have one more dish that took a little longer than expected. So long awaited mantos. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> so this is the yogurt that I used to make the dishes over there. This, unfortunately, are the lonely yogurts left behind that I were not, was not able to use. You promised that you would uh, eat it. Yes, uh, I promised that I would eat it. <laughs> I feel like most of the dishes came out well. Uh, a few of them, uh, not so much, but you know, I'm actually quite happy with most of the things that I made today. I think that the butter chicken um, was one of my favorites, but that is kind of cheating because butter chicken itself does have yogurt in it. So the fried milk yogurt uh, didn't turn out so well. Uh, it was a bit, it was a bit weird. I feel like the the, the flavors are a bit off. So if you like this video and you'd like to see me suffer through more challenges, hit the like button and subscribe.